I'm a one. I'm a one. Have you ever noticed that on a Zoom meeting, you're either looking at a person or you're not? Yeah, actually this happens when we tend to go over to our screen and look at the people's reactions so we can interact better. But this is kind of unnatural for you, right? For me, it's fine because then I could see the person's face and react to them and talk to them naturally, but not for you. It's always best to have eye contact. So in a zoom meeting is close to impossible to have eye contact communication using a webcam an external camera smartphone no matter what device you use we all have this problem you have to pick to look at the person in their eyes sort of way looking at the camera or literally look at their face well i found a kind of like a workaround Kind of way uh, mounting the camera as close as possible as you can to the person's face so you'll need an external camera whether, whether it's a webcam your smartphone uh, connected to your computer because that is also possible or a mirrorless camera using an hdmi capture and in my case i use uh, a7s as a webcam and uh, well i'm using it to record this video right now so I'm going to show you with my trusty good old Fuji film. And this is how you can get zoom videos looking directly at a person while still somehow sort of maintaining contact with their facial gestures. And you'll need a couple of things. You'll need, you'll need this mic pole, flexible pole. So this is actually just a, a, like a microphone stand that I got for like $10, $15 very cheap in amazon and ebay and this is a newer bald head mount this is the small version it's only cost this will only run you not even 20 dollars like 15 dollars i think so overall you have a very very nice angle viewing of yourself and you could actually see people's faces while keeping eye contact so what you gotta do is you gotta mount your your stand somewhere in the vicinity of where your screen is gonna be so in my case i have this monitor in the back so let's go ahead and focus back there but you want to have it somewhere on the bottom of the screen and what i tend to do is just put the screen somewhere behind the camera as close as you can now we got ourselves uh, we could see better the screen behind the camera but still we're keeping eye contact. I know this is not a fix or a solution for the problem we all have, but it's a workaround and it does help. It's uh, less distracting because my eyes are closer to where the people's eyeball, what they see, but I can still keep contact and see their reactions to the conversation. Uh, if you have any other workarounds, I would love to hear your thoughts. And if not, we'll just have to wait for technology to catch up to us because we're ready we're waiting for a monitor that has a built-in lens or a camera inside behind the lcd until that day comes we just have to keep thinking of workarounds now if you got some workaround i would love to hear your comments because you know it's kind of rude to not look people in the eyes when you talk to them so thank you so much for watching the videos and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Oh, oh my bad. Over here, right? Hey.